Alan Savory, formerly one of the Army's leading experts on guerrilla warfare, resigned his commission in protest against what he considers a civil war. You see, it is often put out in the propaganda in Rhodesia by Smith that Rhodesia is at war, and he uses this to, adjust, to justify his denotices, his control of the broadcasting, and various other things. But uh, Rhodesia is not at war with any external power. We have two black parties fighting one white party, basically. White Rhodesians are told that we are fighting communism because the black parties are armed and equipped by communist countries and have communist equipment. Uh, this is true, they have. But what white Rhodesians don't see is that uh, we ourselves don't produce a single round of ammunition and that we are armed and equipped entirely by a foreign power as well. So you have two groups of Rhodesians, uh, both armed and equipped by a foreign power, uh, fighting each other in, in a civil war, which is quite clearly is. I would remind you that we are at war that hundreds of innocent Rhodesians are being killed, most of them black Rhodesians, by barbarians, terrorists, who are communists, communist indoctrinated and communist armed. They are killing and maiming innocent people, women and children. As far as you're concerned, the whites can't possibly win at this stage of the game. Oh, no, to be absolutely out of the question for a white racial minority party, as Smith's is, to win in a predominantly black country. And who do you hold responsible for the beginning of this war? Well, the, there were likely to be troubles in Rhodesia. One cannot deny that we were brewing up for trouble. But the man that I would hold directly responsible for it is Smith himself. I refuse to let myself be associated with any government which is based on color. Not only black, I have repeatedly said, not even a white government. Mm -hmm. What I am aiming for is the best possible government for Rhodesia irrespective of race, irrespective of color. Why can we not have the best Rhodesians to govern Rhodesia? This is the point that I make. It is a fact that most of the educated and skilled people in Rhodesia today are found within the, the ranks of the white Rhodesians. But again, this is nothing which this government has done. People must be reminded that Rhodesia was one of the last countries on this earth to come into contact with Western civilization. And that was only just before the turn of this century. 